also on behalf of Josef Laslowski, since we have carried out all the projects together. He was not able to come, but sends his best wishes and, and uh, greetings. And uh, you will see what we did in the last year in order to try to brush up and uh, uh, to activate um, the sort of digital archaeology in Hungary. And a short overview, uh, we put a workshop and an exhibition in early February and we were able to, to manage to put up uh, quite, a, quite a good program. You will see it and the uh, next step uh, was uh, that uh, or which I am going to present is um, the online journal which we have launched three years ago called Hungarian Archaeology is bilingual and we also organized a master course uh, on digital aspects of archaeological heritage and uh, it's a new, uh, really new last year um, initiated cultural studies uh, heritage program is running at the Central European University and we do have also joint publications. Uh, the program for uh, our course, or it was a two days event actually, um, uh, on the first day we had a program with um, uh, we invited keynote speakers and uh, um, also uh, um, speakers from Hungary and um, the, it was a very, very broad uh, topic and uh, uh, very many papers all together in, in the morning and in the afternoon and next day we got an exhibition in a gallery in, in the city center uh, where people and companies were able to show their activities and uh, the title was, which you can read here, uh, it was about thrones for pyramids, open to reality and so on. Um, uh, on the first day, uh, we got very renewed and uh, acknowledged uh, keynote speakers, Wolfgang Neubauer from the Wurzmann Institute in Vienna, who was uh, talking about the latest uh, geophysical and uh, aerial archaeological uh, achievements and uh, and the new new. Uh, research frames and collaborations and Stefano Campana among others Sorin was uh, Sorin Herman was also the third keynote speaker anyway uh, Stefano was uh, talking about his concept on digital total archaeology as he, he is calling and um, uh, we never would think that the exhibition would be such a great success. We attracted about uh, five or six hundred visitors, not just archaeologists, but people came in from the street and from the universities and so on. And uh, we got uh, partly a poster <coughs> exhibition, uh, very uh, didactically organized about remote sensing, different kind of archaeological surveys and um, from LIDAR to 3D reconstructions you can see uh, for example a poster uh, from our colleagues from PAGE partly uh, about the Neolithic uh, uh, rondels and, and uh, the beautiful Iron Age uh, fortress site, hill fort site in southern Hungary and there is another other company dealing only with the castles and we have a lot of 3D reconstructions whereas the Narmer studio uh, does uh, really an enormous work in abroad and in Hungary as well 
this site is uh, is important for early man. Uh, actually, early monkeys has been excavated, <laughs> and the visitor center will be uh, built, and it's under construction. And uh, others presented on site the drones, the three D printing, and everything, which was interesting for the public. But at the same time, we also got very serious projects, like um, the uh, Zeus Temple, Zeus Temple from Olympia. One of our colleagues, uh, Andres Potter, uh, is uh, dealing with the topic we presented at the CA conferences already. We have CD and the posters and a new publication about the history. There is an other company, they attended the last year CAE at Siena. We, we have got a, a commons organized, a common session, and uh, called Mensos 3D, and they are also involved uh, in Hungarian and international projects. And uh, uh, one of the company who, who is really uh, dealing with the castle's reconstructions. Um, our next enterprise is really uh, our Hungarian archaeology. I, I can uh, really state that uh, we are very keen in publishing the journal uh, for issues in a year. Uh, the number of visitors is increasing enormously and uh, I can really say that the most read Hungarian periodicals, uh, it's of course registered by media, and uh, it's uh, about all archaeological per periods, and it's refreshed almost every day. Uh, you can see the structure here. We have articles, short articles, discussions, and uh, uh, reporting about events, but one of the most important session section is about the books, the programs, conferences, and so on. As I mentioned, are totally refreshed. And uh, today, I've heard by telephone that they were working this morning also to put on uh, the latest events and upcoming events. And uh, as you see, it's an ideal uh, opportunity to advertise, among others, the guidelines and other publications. And it's a lot about non-invasive methods and uh, the latest digital techniques, what we have. And uh, our master course uh, had a concept uh, to present the integrated uh, utilization of advanced technologies in heritage preservation. And we were able again, we have, uh, we have applied for a grant and were able again to invite very acknowledged people, among others, you will see some, some of them is in the audience. Um, the first lecture has been given by Michal Doneus, Vienna, uh, is well known, uh, and uh, he, he gave us a very well structured uh, paper. It was a really a good introductory paper about uh, the techniques and prospections and international projects uh, and uh, an outline for future developments in technical aspects and uh, we had uh, um, a, a paper about uh, huge Norwegian from Niku. Um, uh, Knut, uh, was, Knut was talking about the uh, very uh, really seriously laid out uh, and uh, uh, planned uh, Norwegian projects and Sorin uh, reported before about uh, uh, 3D in archaeological research, but as always put questions uh, about, uh, about the future, about the meaning, why we are doing and how we are doing these things. 
uh, very luckily, um, I, I succeeded to convince Julian uh, and uh, Yushka's friend uh, Richard Hodges also presented uh, a paper. It was a lively discussion about archaeological data surveys and how to preserve the data for the future. And we also got Adrian, he was the last speaker in the series, and uh, you can see that uh, his uh, paper was also partly theoretical and asking very up-to-date questions because I mean it's all very nice what we are uh, see uh, we are having here on the screen but uh, uh, I'm not too pessimistic but I would say that two-thirds of these uh, planes and uh, and uh, efforts <laughs> will go on so we should choose and have to concentrate on topics and on activities which we really can to preserve for the future. And there was a lively discussion in the master course. Kathleen contributed to Adrian Papers and some others from Seoul were asking uh, and the discussion has gone about the topics you can see here and uh, it's a short summary about uh, uh, the upcoming uh, questions about the survey about digital tours about uh, uh, our techniques <coughs> of course and um, uh, everything uh, which is uh, nowadays <coughs> will be presented on the net as internet-based publication and how can we use we have a new section in the journal about uh, digital tools in the in in the education and started um, a new program uh, archaeology in the school and uh, even more importantly there is a high education um, since two years, as I've mentioned, an MA program in cultural heritage at Central European University, uh, which is a private university that ha has a Master of Art course, uh, and uh, uh, here is uh, the advertisement about the DCA application, which is open for the next academic years. You could see the reflets or collect them and uh, I mean it's uh, really very essential. Josef Lossowski uh, managed to to get accredited program it's called uh, Cultural Heritage Studies program and it it's for uh, really serious academic research with international uh, students and uh, uh, theory and practice is joined in in the program, built heritage, but any other kind of uh, heritage study as well. And uh, we have the uh, soon the first year uh, uh, people uh, among others, Gage, who is looking after the books, is one of a uh, part of the program and writing up his thesis. On, uh, on certain interesting topic and uh, you can see here that we uh, we got uh, this body uh, which is uh, international as I mentioned the English is the official language and uh, there are many events uh, really, uh, really well visited and uh, mentioned that is uh, one of them was the culture in danger. It, it was it has been a student initiative, and um, uh, it was not not a single occasion, but it was a program for a whole week integrated in into the program, and we are continuously cooperating also in academic publications which. I feel it's uh, 
really important and remains for the future because we are publishing uh, books uh, which are final reports for a very long year uh, excavations and uh, containing, uh, for example, the medieval royal town at, uh, town at Visegrad is uh, really included, uh, has included uh, landscape studies and modern technologies, but also uh, medieval text analysis and, uh, and excavations. So it's really, one could say, it's really complex. And uh, we extended our series, our joint uh, Central European series, which now called Central European Heritage Studies Series, the first two volumes. One is already uh, published and uh, the next one is due to appear within a few weeks, already advertised by Arheo Press. And I would like to thank for listening in also in name from Josef Laslowski, who uh, is a very good partner and we managed all these things together. Thank you.